why do some Igbos hail a known gunman despite the deadly attacks in the southeast? Welcome to the news and please listen to the end. A known gunman have been terrorizing the southeast, particularly Anambra State, for several days. The heinous gang has been spreading havoc in Anambra State, killing innocent people and wrecking security operations officers. The activities of this deadly group have made the chief of armor staff Lieutenant General Farouk Yoya launched Operation Golden Dawn in Enugu on Monday, October 4, 2021, to tackle the insecurity in the southeast region. According to the military, the operation will cut across the southern region and will last for weeks. However, the question here is that why the Sami was hailed on known gunmen despite the deadly attacks in the southeast? In a viral video, some residents of Anambra were seen hailing unknown gunmen a few days ago. However, the Indibo Historical Initiative, NHI, has condemned the spate of attacks in the southeast, warning that the situation witnessed in Afghanistan may occur in Igbo land. A statement by the Executive Director, Julia Irebu Inhejirika, particularly castigated Igbos who celebrate the non gunmen for killings and destruction since 2020. Why do some Igbos applaud this deadly organization for its evil deeds? Applauding this dangerous organization, we encourage them to continue wreaking havoc because they realize that its people support of their evil actions. Igbo hailing unknown gunmen should be aware that the act should excavate the Southeast insecurity problem. If the Igbos continue to express support for their non gunmen who carry out criminal attacks on federal property, these gunmen may turn on them one day. They are all criminals. That is why problems continues. Their problem continues. They believe that this is how they will get their Biafra Republic by killing themselves and destroying the properties. Brainwashed people. Your Northern Nigeria has collapsed. That is why you people want to disguise Fulani military. Come to South to destroy our properties so that we will blame IPOB. We know your plans and you have failed woefully. When Boko Haram started like play, like play in the north back then, not as we are supporting them in the same way. Now Boko Haram has gone out of hand in the north now, and we have various terrorist groups creating unrest for the northerners. So, like the Igbos too continue, they will have themselves to blame. Bad politicians are waiting for slit loopholes in Western. So, Southeast people should continue to support their moves, thinking it will lead them to Biafra. Who formed and financed Boko Haram? The government has sympathy on Boko Haram and Fulani herdsmen who kills, kidnap and raping our farmers. None has been arrested by the Nigerian soldiers and police led by and the police led by Buhari administration. Tribalism, nepotism is the foundation of Buhari and APC government, the worst government ever seen in Nigeria. Without Buhari there will be no agitation. That is simple. That is the simple and ugly truth. It is because that they have gone through a lot in the hands of security operatives posted in the southeast. We will keep on hailing them. Without them, the army would have killed us all, used by the government. Hmm. The Nigerian armies and police are only there to flex their muzzles on innocent citizens. The unnecessary molestation from our security personnel on defenseless citizens are enough reason for them to support the unknown, good, unknown gunmen. You are quick to pronounce IPOB a deadly group. But what of Boko Haram and the Fulani herdsmen? They are not terrorists, but they are, they, are they not banned? They are not terrorists, they are not banned. And they are not, they are freedom fighters. They held them because they thought that the, the IPOI guys killing the police of Igbo indigenous that refused to resign, not knowing that they are sponsored the Anjawi killers imported from the imported from outside to create insecurity for declaration of state of emergency that will be breeding ground to foist APC on an Amberians. Why do Northern leaders refuse to tag Boko Haram, bandits and killer hearts men as terrorists? Seems to have run out of idea and content creation. Come, let me give you better articles to write. Every Northern Muslim North East and North West is a member of or informant of Boko Haram's and bandits. No two ways about that. 
let them continue to celebrate and dance with unknown gunmen. A day is coming, and they will also be crying about what the unknown gunmen did to them. Because they are doing what IPOP cannot do, and because it was created by the Fulani government and their willing tools in the southeast. Because even the unknown gunmen know it is time for a new nation called Biafran Nation. Simple. Well, supporting evil will not in any way bring about good. Supporting evil will in no way bring about good. It will continue to wreck. It will wreck the economy of the state. Um, if it is true that this particular um, people, these people are supporting unknown gunmen, then it is everything. It is wrong. It is wrong. It is totally wrong. It is totally very wrong to even support them. Very, very wrong. Supporting them is it's 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 wrong and it's also wrong for the people to be attacked continuously by the said people that were sent to protect them. I thought that these particular people, the people of the Southeast region, that um recently um uh some troops were sent down there to help stabilize the the ongoing criminal activities. But what we hear now is how many innocent lives in the space of how many days, I tell you, it is either in this part of a state, in Anambra state, there is a clash and innocent lives, you know, we're killed. Or as we're hearing now, we heard in the news that in Izon Bay, there, there, was, there was a clash between, you know, innocent citizens and the army, which led to killing of people, just radical killing of people and bonding down of houses of even the innocent citizens. Now, the question to be asked is, are the people now being protected by these troops? I thought the main reason is for people to feel safe and for people not to have this fear of unknown gunmen. I do not understand. I do not understand. Then if it is that these people now, they were supposedly supposed, I mean supposedly... Uh, um, there, they are supposed to be enjoying the protection of the military, of the soldiers. And these soldiers are the ones giving them this kind of um, sleepless nights, going about and causing innocent citizens to be killed and, you know, people to lose their means of livelihood. Then if another group of people comes to their aid, I'm not in any way perpetrating violence, then this is what will happen. Over the news, we have heard that the the Southeasterners, the troops were sent to them. All of a sudden, they are spiritual killing of innocent citizens, burning down of houses and buildings and what have you. It is not supposed to be so. If the, if the, if the soldiers sent there are, are really, really killing the criminals, as in fishing out the criminals, not even killing them because they are not supposed to kill criminals. They are supposed to hand them over. Isn't it right? I believe I am still making sense. Hand them over to the authorities that will take, that will take um, the law. I mean, they will enforce the law on the said criminals. But what do we have here? I'm not in any way supporting violence. But the soldiers should ensure that whoever they are being, they are carrying the activities out on are not civilians. They are not innocent civilians. They are not in, they are not in any way unarmed people. Please. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.